millions of people have been waiting excitedly for this, the first total eclipse in this part of Africa for a generation. In Zimbabwe, schools and businesses were closed as thousands flocked north to view the full eclipse in tourist areas. And when the moment came, it proved to be one of nature's greatest spectacles. Totality lasted for three minutes to the soundtrack of wildlife and then as if someone had touched a dimmer switch, the light crept back and the temperature warmed up once again. Children have been preparing for this moment for weeks. Lack of affordable eye protection has raised concerns that locals may suffer damage to their eyes. Environmentalists have had concerns about the effect on animals too and carefully monitored whether they would revert briefly to nocturnal habits. Obviously the time period was very brief, so they wouldn't have time to, to go through the whole motions of a uh, warthog running back to their holes, a hyena coming out of, their, out of their dens. But we believe that we will have been able to pick up um, increased vigilance, which animals will obviously adopt during that time of the day when there is a very highly increased predator risk. This was the first solar eclipse of the new millennium, a unique and spectacular event one observer said was one of the greatest days of their life. Susanna Reid, BBC News. Think of the final frontier in space, and in a few months' time, Leicester will be one of the words that springs immediately to mind. ...experienced its first total solar eclipse of the new millennium. The spectacular event began over the Atlantic Ocean and then moved eastwards over Angola, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Mozambique and the island of Madagascar. Tens of thousands of people joined scientists to watch the darkness descend and Zambia declared a national holiday. 